Bible tells us in John chapter 3, there's a, a Pharisee named Nicodemus. And Nicodemus approached Jesus and he called him rabbi, which means to be teacher. And when he spoke to him, he, he, he said this, the same came to Jesus that night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. And Jesus answered and said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Wow, there's a lot in that little passage of Scripture. But first of all, we see that this Pharisee, uh, you know, they were the ones along with the uh, chief priests, the, the doctors in the law. They were actually picking on Jesus all the time because he was messing with their system. He was messing with what had been set up in the law. And so Nicodemus had to come by night, and when he came by night, he, uh, he got with Jesus. So what it means when he says he came by night, he was sneaking around. You know, and, and some of you are listening to this program and you're sneaking around. And that's okay because we want to know the truth of the Word of God. Amen? And this is a real simple truth. This isn't out of the way. Uh, he speaks to him and says, hey, we know that nobody can uh, do the miracles that you're doing except God be with you. And you know what he's telling? He's telling what the other Pharisees are saying in private, but they're not saying it openly. And then Jesus looks at them, and he just cuts through the religious talks, and he tells them that you must be born again. Now, the subject of being born again, you hear that, and, and, and Nicodemus answered him, and he says, uh, how can I enter again into my mother's womb? You know, I can't be born again. And, and Jesus said, uh, uh, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. It's talking about a spiritual rebirth. You know, God, when he spoke to Adam in the garden, uh, he was talking to Adam. He said, that tree called the knowledge of good and evil, he said, the day you eat thereof, you shall surely die. And so Adam, you know, uh, followed along with his wife and ended up eating of that. Well, they didn't die instantly. I mean, as a matter of fact, they died hundreds of years after they ate of that tree. But they did die spiritually. And spiritual death means that your spirit man is separated from God. And so man, from there all the way till Jesus Christ, lived in spiritual death. And the reason why Jesus is here is to give us a chance to be born again. I want you to know you can be born again today, which means to be alive or made alive so that you can fellowship God again so that you can walk and talk with God, so that your creator, the one that created you, can actually intervene in your life. You can know him, the Bible tells us, amen, but you've got to be made alive spiritually, and you were made alive spiritually because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. I want you to know he hung on that tree, and he removed a curse from your life, because it says in Galatians 3.13, Cursed is every man that hangs on a tree. And then he shed his blood to remove your sin. And because of that, a new birth was able to take a place. Amen? The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are made new and all things are of God. That's talking about your spiritual rebirth. That means your spirit has been made alive to fellowship with God. Man, this is so exciting because it's the beginning of a journey. It's a beginning of a journey of eternity. The beginning of a journey to know your God. Amen? The Bible says in Daniel, he says, in the last days, them that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Amen? It's time for us to be strong in the Lord. It's time for us to be confident in our God. Amen? And it's so powerful what God has given us through Jesus Christ that we can be born again. I love also that he said that which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. 
I want you to know, amen, hallelujah, the first Adam, the Bible says, uh, was made a living soul, but the second Adam, Jesus Christ, was made a quickening spirit. Be born again.